Hi, I'm Jeremy Rossback, Chief Technical Evangelist with Broadcom for our network monitoring solutions. And as promised, we're going to talk about SD-WAN today, the challenges it brings to our network operations teams and some strategies to overcome those challenges and find success. So, as you can see, I've drawn out what is you know, a normal network topology back in the day, right? You have a data center, you have dedicated MPLS circuits out to the branch offices, data center has internet connection, maybe even out to a cloud provider as well. And with this architecture, back in the day, you had full visibility and control, right? These are dedicated circuits, you know, every single packet, every single route that goes across them because it's what you're paying for. But with SD-WAN today, this brings in many more complications. As we connect our branch offices to the internet with SD-WAN technology, and as we bundle internet connections with our dedicated MPLS circuits, this is how SD-WAN uh, moves application traffic over these more secure uh, bundled circuits, including the internet. But what this does is SD-WAN can automate the routing decisions based on user demand, based on bandwidth allocated. And this is the type of validation that our network operations teams need to make sure that they have in place so SD-WAN orchestrators do not automate anything that doesn't coincide with your SLA agreements for user experience. So now we're losing some of that visibility and control, right? Because now we're passing traffic over ISP networks, which we know to be unmanaged. To complicate things even more, you need visibility into every one of these network hops along all of these new network paths that you're using to deliver the user experience. Besides that, you need to, un you need to correlate the underlay and overlay within your SD-WAN technology. And what that means is that the virtualization component of SD-WAN, as it traverses over physical network architecture to deliver that user experience, you need to be able to pinpoint if that physical network architecture is having a performance problem, and does it impact the SD-WAN delivery of the application experience. So that correlation is extremely important when you deploy SD-WAN technologies. And to complicate things even more, we're going to draw some additional network paths that, of course, are going to have their routing hops. That is new network path technology delivering user experiences from your work from anywhere users, complicating things even more. So how do we gain back control and visibility of what is now a very complex and challenging network architecture? You need to be able to adopt and implement end-to-end -end sd wan assurance from where the transaction starts to where the transaction ends. And that it goes beyond edge to edge that traditional software SD-WAN vendors provide today. Wherever the application user experience starts from anywhere in the world, across any network architecture, whether you own it or not, needs to be implemented to validate that entire user experience across this new network technology. When you can see the performance of every single network hop as it relates to the impact of the user experience it's delivering, that's when you've gained back full control and visibility. And what does that do for you and your network operations teams? It helps you tame the complexity, which helps you improve your mean time to resolution. It helps you increase your visibility, which improves your mean time to innocence. And then finally, it helps you regain back that control, which helps you improve the quality of experience for your end users. So to learn more about how to regain this visibility and control back of new network architectures that you're deploying, Visit us today at broadcom.com slash netups. <laughs>